Okay, we are back, and you're kind of sort of settled, and uh, we are starting on episode number 19 for wow. Behind the Bikini. Isn't it crazy? Like, that, the, the weeks have flown by. Literally. It doesn't yeah. feel like 19 weeks at all. <laughs> no. And we're starting a new year, which means we are starting on Spotify as well. So we promised we get you guys a Spotify channel, so we have a new Spotify channel. We'll put that uh, link down in the description box below for you, too, so you can go log on over there if it's easier for you to watch and listen on Spotify than YouTube. So we'll still have it on YouTube. We'll have it in both places, so subscribe either place that uh, that is best for you as far as your consumption of your material and all that stuff's concerned, and, uh, and we'll go from there. So, <sighs> yeah, so... <laughs> right now now i'm just saying like my eyes are so bloodshot it's like um i'm just you know and i'm sure you're in the same boat like just with moving and stuff i'm just it's just a lot going on right now <laughs> yeah the, it's just you know the fatigue is still settled in and it's just like one thing after another after yeah. another but that is what it is you know <laughs> yeah the hardest thing so so let's just to ju jump right into it this week or this week's topic we're going to talk about new year's resolutions um, whether you do them or you don't do them or how to attack them and all those kinds of things. But we, before we get into that, we always give you guys a little update as far as where we are and what we're doing and all of that. So um, we are closing in on, we're a week and a half out from Cuties Cockery on the Stage. So for me, this is always the most stressful time, always, because it's all the little pieces being put together. Um, <laughs> this year has been worse. <laughs> Because um, I don't know if you if you've experienced this at all with like vendors that you've worked with and stuff this year, but I feel like every single vendor that we have worked with, like for our printing and our everything that we get in, everything, they all took like two weeks off for Christmas, and I'm like, yeah. what? What the hell? Like nobody from literally from the middle of December until yesterday, everybody was off, and I'm just Absolutely. like, what? Like what's going on? Like I get stuff from outside the country, like I get some of my fabrics from the UK. And like, they just got back at the office yesterday. And I'm like, I have to have stuff made with this fabric next week. <laughs> I'm like, it's not a matter of like me just getting it in. It's a matter of me putting it to work too. And I'm just like, right. And all these things you're stressed about, you like literally have zero control over, but exactly. it has to get done somehow, some way. Yeah. And I'm just like, I, I don't know. I've never experienced this before where all of every single company has taken two weeks off at least. No, and and I've experienced that too. I mean, that's why my move took so long because the movers just wanted to come pick it up just so that they could take two weeks off. And then when they came back, they were ready to transport it. I was like, yeah. I if you guys would have told me that, I would have had you come four weeks yes, ago. Yes, exactly. Like we're, we're, we're going, you know, this is our ninth year for Cuties Car the State. So it's not like we haven't done this before. You know what I mean? And like Should we're going harder. Should we get No, <laughs> we're going based on timelines we've always kept. Always and have. we're like, what the hell? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like we're, just, uh, we're just like holding on by the seat of our pants, hoping, hoping everything gets in. Because usually we have everything in by now. We're, you know, we're a week and a half out. So we can start packing all the bags and all the binders and all the everything. Like everything is getting done right now. Like usually by this past weekend, we've got stuff like packed up. Yeah. We don't even have it here yet. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? So literally all next week, I'm going to be packing everything next week. I hate that. I absolutely hate that. I'm a planner. Last minute. I, I, I hate last minute stuff. Absolutely hate it. It is the worst. And I'm just like, it'll get done. At the end of the day, I know it will get done. It always does. But like, I usually like to take that last week and I can just reflect and make sure everything's set and we're settled and we're good. And like, I have everything. It's not going to be like that at all this year. And I'm just like, oh, and you're going to be stressed and you're going to be like literally down to the last second doing everything. Yeah. That sucks for you. Yeah. Yeah. And my, and my people here, like I have a seamstress that works for me. They're fantastic. The people that work for me are wonderful. Like, but <laughs> it's just everybody else. I'm like, what the hell? Like one of the, one of the sponsors, Virginia Institute, they're coming, they're doing facials and all that kind of stuff. And um, they're like, oh, you want to come in for a pre-event, you know, facial? I was like, I would love to, but I don't when? have time. Yeah. I'm like, can I come after? <laughs> Does that still count? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, recovery? Can I come from recovery? Literally, like, my face started breaking out yesterday. Like, I have not had a breakout on my face, uh, like, six, eight months. I'm just like. It's all going to come out now. <laughs> Oh my so God. are the vendors saying that they're going to be able to get it to you in time? I hope so. And it's because of impression, pressing on people like my, like my fabric people in, in the UK. I was back and forth with them all day yesterday. And they're like, well, cause I get 
fabric's custom made. So they have to go through a whole printing process and a foiling process and all this kind of stuff. And it takes four days for that process to happen, just let alone shipping it. So right. I'm just like, I'm like, can you, I'm like, can you speed it up? And they're like, it's not a matter of us speeding it up. It's a matter of this is how long it takes. And I'm like, well, I got an email from them this morning. I know. <laughs> I got an email from them this morning that they've got everything going and that it should be able to ship out tomorrow, which is a day ahead of their earliest time frame that they gave me yesterday. So that's I'm, I'm happy with that. And I'm like, can we speed up the shipping? They're like, you already have the fastest shipping. I'm just like, like Friday when you're leaving. I know. Well, no, it needs to get here this weekend because it's the it's the fabric that we make the closing suits from. So, like we have, and this is what. So, if you're, you, I know you're active in the Facebook group. So, in the Facebook group, I think it was two weeks ago or something like that. I was in there. I was like, I don't mean to be the Grinch. I said, but if y'all don't get your sizing in, well, only about half the girls got their sizing in. So, so you were waiting. Yeah. Th- well, those girls are definitely getting their posing suits done. It's just the ones that were late may have to may have to deal with, with a different fabric. We may have to give them a different fabric. I I think we're gonna be okay. As long as we get the fabric in this weekend, we'll be able to get everything done. But like I said, I'm like, this is why I push on people. Like, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm not trying to be a bitch. But, you know, in order for us to do what we have to do, we we have to get this information from you. You know, like, get the information in and and we'll be good. Every girl that got her her sizing in, y'all are good. Y'all are good. (laughs) Yes, you're all done. Your suits are done and ready to go. It's just the ones ones that that waited. (laughs) Like... There's two types of people in this world. There's people that are like the first responders. They get that email and they're like, boom. And then there's people that like read the email and they forget to respond. And then blah, blah, blah. That's my husband. And then (laughs) the one that's like, I'm already on the email 30 seconds after it's in my inbox. Yeah. You know, I'm exactly the same way as you. And Dan is the exact same way as Drew. So I'm like, I literally like every day I'm like, Dan, I need this. Dan, I need this. Dan, I need this. Dan, I need this. (laughs) It's the same thing that I'm asking for every single time. Can you please get me this? Because <laughs> one year out the other. <laughs> like, if you don't, it's not gonna get done. Help, please. <laughs> Dan. Come on, Dan. What what wait, what coffee mug do we have today? If oh, you it's know, the, Sean has like an Orion. Yeah. Oh, and it's dripping. Yeah. That's wonderful. So it's the don't fucking care bear. Yeah. yeah, well, you need that today. I definitely do. I didn't realize it, it dripped all down the side. It's usually a lot prettier than that. But, yep, yep, that's my don't fucking care bear. I have, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I have all of my inappropriate coffee mugs, and there's one every day that I post <laughs> up. So, and she's I'm a having lot. a Usa. <laughs> yes, I have a lot. Like, whatever people get me, like, birthday gifts and stuff like that, it's always these 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 type of mugs and stuff. So, so I tell people, like, I need a mug wall. Yeah. Well, I have I have a whole cabinet full of coffee mugs, and they're all oh all inappropriate coffee mugs. And uh, I love that. Yeah, I'm like so. I'm like, if you ever trying to think of something to get me, there you go. Get an in- <laughs> go to Spencer and get an inappropriate. Yeah, coffee right. Mug. Yeah, exactly. No, no normal ones. Ray Dunn shit. No, 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 no normal ones. Ones that have lots of cuss words. You good. <laughs> Oh, oh Lord. But funny. uh yeah. So that's 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 it. I mean that I mean that's that you know, and again, this there's always something when we go through the last couple of weeks of CCTS like preparation. There always is, you know. A few years yes. ago was when we had to deal with all the COVID stuff and everything was shutting down and you only had the capacity restrictions of ten people in a room kind of deal. So we had to deal with that. So I'm like, you know what, if we can get through that, we can get through this. It'll be okay. We'll get there. It'll be fine. You know, and and, and everything will go off and people won't even know and all that kind of stuff. So um which brings me to another point which I mentioned I know you read the email that I sent out yesterday or the day before, whatever it was. We're doing things a little differently this year as far as live streaming. So yes. Yeah, so typically with CCTS, we do a paid live stream. We're not doing that this year. So what we're doing this year is we are recording the whole thing as if we were live streaming, but we're not live streaming it. Um, We're recording everything to create videos for later. Um, And the awards banquet on Sunday night will be streamed live for free on YouTube Mm -hmm. and on Facebook, just like I do my my normal live streams and stuff. So we're going to stream the awards banquet for, for free for everybody. So um, so if y'all want to see what we do, uh, it's, we do, pre- we do it pretty big. It's like, it's like the Oscars for, for physique competitors. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> so it's, that part will be free. So 
so that you can kind of get a taste of our what we do, you know, our vibe and what the whole thing is about. Because um, it's hard for me to describe what CCTS is until you've actually been there, you know, and until you've actually experienced it. There's nothing. There's nothing else there out there like that. You know, they're just, they're just not. So it's hard for me to explain what it is. So if y'all are wondering, be paying attention. We'll put up a notification so you guys know it'll be Sunday. Um, we'll probably start live streaming during the VIP um, red carpet time. So yeah. that would be 630 on Sunday. So next, not this and week. And anybody week, so. that has said to me specifically, clients and things like that, I wish I was going to CCTS. Well, as soon as the event is over, Sean put, starts putting up early yeah. pricing, right? Yeah. Now's the time to do it. Like, this event's just going to keep getting better and better. There's no need to wait till next year to think about whether you're going to want to go. Just buy yep. the early bird pricing ticket, which is so much better. Yep. And then just commit that to yourself a year from now that you're going to the And then you can buy And worse comes plan. to worse, you could sell the ticket off. Girls are looking for tickets closer to the time, and then they, they right. love to buy the early bird pricing. So just buy That's the right. ticket now so it doesn't yep. sell out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So it's, you know, and, it's, and again, it's one of those things. It's like we that next year will be our 10th year. You know what I mean? So it's it's not like we just started this a year ago. You know what I mean? It's 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 just gotten better every year because we because we take the feedback and we apply it. And then we go through the stressors that we go through every year. But we get there. You know what I mean? We get there one way or another. So, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a great event. And I'm looking forward to it. We have a lot of really and I know it says every year, but we have a lot of really good material this year. Um, and the material is different every year, too, as far as the education is concerned, because our sport does change from year to year. So um, we are always updating what we are actually teaching to to yeah. fit with the current um, standards, the current criteria, um, all of those kinds of things. Um, I know for my my topic, what I'm talking about is actually the history of the sport, because I feel like specifically women don't understand <laughs> how bodybuilding began. Um, not even from the men's side, but from the women's side either, you know, nine out of 10 bikini competitors who say they want to be on the Olympia stage, don't even know who the first bikini Olympia winner was, you know, so stuff like that. So I'm going to go through the history of it. I'm going to talk about how it's kind of evolved, how the criteria has evolved, how the divisions have evolved, um, just so you can get a better understanding of, you know, where you are today is not the same as where you would have been 10 years ago. You know what I mean? Or where you're so. going to be in 40 years from now, That's two right. years from now. Absolutely. Yep. That's going to be That's a right. cool one. Yeah. So yeah. you guys are going to get, get a little uh, schooling, a little history lesson. <laughs> Bring your glasses and your, your stuff. Right. Right. From, from, from the OG right here, who's been around for freaking 15 years, you know, like <laughs> that's, that, that's me right here. Mm -hmm. Mama cutie, Mama cutie, <laughs> passing down her knowledge and her mm -hmm. wisdom. And then it's oh, funny, we're, we're talking about um, the athlete to coach relationship and like expectations versus reality. So yep. that would be a good one too. I think that's huge. So many people go into this expecting one thing when it's a completely different thing that you're that you're getting you know what i mean yeah so yeah it's gonna be huge plus you guys are gonna do a, a glute workout too so that'll be fun yes i just read that <laughs> yesterday I said, this is Jamie. she was like that looks good so awesome we're, we're coming with a, a, a banded booty glute workout <laughs> yes yes because the goal behind that is so that the girls can take it and use it when they're you know their own, own gyms but also when they're traveling and things like that so the booty band workout um something that you can you can apply no matter where you are yeah, I, I made it to like two warm up series, then two like progressional series. So like, awesome. if you need to do a workout, this button one. But if you need just something to like activate your glutes, warm up with, I gave a couple of options for those too. Love it, awesome. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna work out too because it's gonna be hard for me to get my training in over the weekend. So I'm gonna do the workout. <laughs> so and I were just talking about that yesterday. That's gonna be my deep my deload weekend because it's it's just there's no time. There's, there's no, no time. time. I was yeah. literally just trying to plan that out this morning, like how I'm gonna do my training, and I'm like, oh, I'll just do that on. Saturday, that'll work. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll be burning our booty. Yep. There you go. And of course, all of the, the the clothing options. So have you have you done your shopping? You, I know you got all your clothes. You got your the, the movie truck showed up, so you got your clothes. You got your shoes, so you're good with that. Yes. But I finally got my my clothes that I ordered on the drive over. They were here the next day after I moved in, and they're perfect. They all there you fit. Go. I'm like, whatever, throw them in the closet. That's good to CCTF. I love it. I love it. So again, for those of you that don't know, we do it up every day when it comes to the to the the clothing options because we do the girls' night out, we do the cocktail hour, we do the banquet, 
all of that stuff. So you got to come dress to impress. You come dress to the nines. <laughs> yes, yeah. absolutely. When I say it's like the Oscars for the awards banquet, I am not exaggerating. It literally yeah, is. The examples of the dresses that you said for Glitston Diamonds, literally these women on the red carpet with like these, yeah. these diamonds. <laughs> We have um, one of our sponsors is the makeup artist, Amelia. She's from um, Louisiana. So if you want to get your makeup done, you can get your makeup done. You know, they're going to be doing, yep, they're going to be doing facials on, on site and everything too. So you can be glowing for the awards oh, banquet. Be spraying us. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, yeah, Marilyn's going to be there doing doing uh, actual spray tans for you guys too. So, I mean, you're red carpet ready. I mean, you're red carpet ready. We got you. We got you covered. This girl needs a tan so bad. <laughs> so bad so i was really excited for that for these outfits because nobody likes to, a girl to show up as looking like a ghost and oh everywhere. i did that for new year's so we went so that uh, so new year's was sunday so <laughs> sunday morning i got up and went to my training came home and put a layer of tan on <laughs> and, and i was in sweats when we went and, and checked into the hotel because i was like i've got i've got tan on i'm like it is what it is i'm not going to be a ghost in these freaking dresses it's not going to happen no. <laughs> You look so beautiful, though. So you guys Thank switched you. outfits. You had we did. Oh yeah. God. So, because because we were looking at outfits to buy, and then I realized that Dan had actually ordered two suit jackets because he wasn't sure which one he was gonna wear. He wanted to he wanted to try them on and stuff. And, and I was like, okay, well, I don't know which dress I want to wear. He's like, well, why don't we just do both? We'll do one set for dinner, and we'll do one set for the for the gala that we went to. So that's what we did. Um, plus, last year for New New Year's, I had COVID. The year before, Dan had COVID. So we typically do New Year's really big, and we weren't able to the last two years. We stayed home. So it's like, all right, so we, we made up for it. Real That's, <laughs> so <tonight>. cool. That's <laughs> so cool. But it was so much fun. I know, it was yeah. so much fun. So we went to dinner uh, at Nastro's, which is a fantastic steak restaurant. If anybody's never been there, it was amazing. Um, and the funny part was that blue dress that I wore there, the chick that they had there singing, like, that was performing, she was wearing the same dress. <laughs> No. Yes. She was like, and he noticed as soon as I walked in, I'm wearing the same dress as the girl singing, right? <laughs> one first. No, it was a good thing because the actually the blue one was uncomfortable in comparison to the black one. Okay. Because because of my back. So it had the, the the straps that came down and they were so tight because I'm so wide up top. So I was like, I was like this the whole time. Like I couldn't really move, you know? So it was a good, yeah, exactly, exactly. So it was a good one for dinner. Um, it was pretty and all that kind of stuff, but you can't dance in it. At least I can't because of my, my structure and all that. So, um, you don't want to so, dance like this? No, not so much. <laughs> not so much. So yeah. So we went and changed and then the gala was, we stayed at the hotel where the gala was. So we didn't have to go anywhere once we got back to the hotel and changed into the black one, which that was a lot easier for me to move in. But the train of it was long, like it was on the floor and <laughs> Dan stepped on it like five times throughout the night. I, I swear. I was like, one of these times it's going to rip right off me. <laughs> It no, it no, no. I felt so bad. We were on the dance floor at one point, and this one, he's this, he was this short little guy, right? He stepped on my dress, and he was just standing on it, not realizing he was standing on it. And I was like, he tapped him on it. She was like this. I was like, can you get off my dress? And he looked at me, and he goes, <laughs> what? I was like, I was just trying to tell you not to rip my dress off. And he's like, cool, you know? <laughs> You're towering over him, and he's standing on your dress. He was probably felt a little intimidated. He definitely was. I felt bad. I was like, I was trying to be nice about it, but I'm like, You're standing on my dress, and he just literally ran away. <laughs> I was like, I guess I'm Did scary you ever or see something. Him again? No, no. He probably left the party. You scared him. <laughs> uh, oh, well. But it was fun. They had. They had like the whole the whole hotel like every banquet room was a different type of music, so we went all over the place and like the we ended up staying in the one where they had all the all the Latin music the most of the night so because that was the most lively room of the whole of the whole thing so it was that's fun cool. to be with time. different genres of music that's yeah. really cool yeah so depending on what you want to do and then they had like you know a photo booth set up they had um there there was one that table they were doing like balloon animals they were doing caricatures at one and like it was it was it was a lot of fun we had a good time so a really this good time. was just like a new year's party that you could yeah. like pay to go to or mm -hmm. okay yeah that's cool so that's it was at awesome. the Ami shoreham hotel which is where they have like the inaugural ball for the presidential elections so it's got a lot of history there it was from it's 1930 i think is when it opened up so wow. 
like some of the previous U.S. presidents used to actually live there and, and all that kind of stuff too. So it's kind of it was it. I love stuff like that. Like here in the D.C. area, there's so much like that, so much and it's history. just really cool. Like we we didn't know. Like we were just honestly, we went on to like Google and Eventbrite and just found the found the event. We're like, well, this looks like fun. And then when we got there, we're like, oh, this is like really cool. <laughs> like you know, because they, they've got everything all posted around the hotel about the, their history, and you know, they've had all these amazing um, like you know Frank Sinatra and Louis Armstrong and all these people have performed there and all this kind of stuff. And it's just like, wow, it was really, it was really awesome. So I, I like looking at stuff like that too. Cause like, there's always this, this, um, as a, like a building, it's difficult to be modern, but still have the history attached to it. If that makes sense. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. it, they did a very good job of it still feeling like it was clean and fresh, but it still had all the old stuff old. there from like the 1930s. You know what I mean? So um, so, you know, it was really cool. I really enjoyed that a lot. Yeah. Is that the first time you went there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So you yeah. Go there's, yeah. There's so many. It's just like, you know, what if we decide to do stuff in D.C.? We always just look all over the place and try to find something new to experience. And so yeah. we've been to a ton of the different places down there, but there's just so much more that we haven't seen. So and for us being in northern Virginia, we're about 45 minutes from downtown D.C., so whenever we do an event or something like that, I go down there for a concert or whatever, we tend to try to stay for the night, that kind of thing. So we find a new a new hotel to try and try out for the evening, that kind of thing. So yeah, it was fun. That's I awesome. enjoyed, enjoyed it a lot. So what'd you guys do? Good. Um, Jamie and Greg had a party at their house, which was awesome. So literally we just came downstairs from our place and our buildings right next to theirs, walked over, went up. And it was good. We just had like tacos and she got sprinkled cupcakes and we just hung out, played games. Yeah. It was awesome. It was, it was really cool. Just chill. Well, after having such a tumultuous few weeks, <laughs> it was probably, yeah, was probably a night you needed. For sure. Yeah. 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 How's the, the new place coming along? Sunday. Good. Good. Yeah. The movers came on Sunday. So it all worked out perfectly because Literally, when we did our podcast, we were on the drive. Yeah. And I t I think I mentioned, like, we're passing all these moving trucks right now, and I'm wondering yeah. if any of these are our stuff. Well, the moving guy called a couple hours later, and we're driving on this this I-10 in El Paso, Texas. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm on a strip uh, I-10 in El Paso, Texas. I'm stopping here for the night to drop off a move, and then I'm coming to you tomorrow. I'm like, I knew it. Literally, you're you're right next to us. <laughs> those trucks he was, it was oh, our wow. stuff, so. yeah they came the next day and uh the, these movers on this side were so nice they got it done in just under an hour um everything came nothing was broken so it all worked out perfectly so everything's unpacked we just got to get a little bit of furniture and yeah, things like that settled. um yeah but we got all the boxes and stuff out but this is our busiest week of being a coach right everybody started prep for new athletes um, so it's, it's just been a, a wild work week so far. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine this is the new year's resolutions time as, which is why we're going to talk about that today. But, um, uh, how, how are you, I know, I know. How are you feeling? Like, are, have you set any, any, um, new year's resolutions or anything like that? How are, how's your, your goals going? I do have my goals all set up. So that's what I wrote in my notes tab and I can share some of those with you guys. Um, but I'm doing better. Um, obviously, like I was super high fatigue in my body and things like that. I just trained yesterday for the first time in one and a half weeks. Oh, wow. I was so sore. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Yeah. So um, we pretty much just started sleeping again probably two nights ago. Like finally like got our own bed back and, you know, getting into a routine here. The time change, meals. Yeah. It's just adjusting. Um, you know, Drew and I have lived in Florida our entire lives and we feel really like dizzy out here right now. So oh, we're really? not sure if it's like being high up. Like every awesome. time we get off the elevator, we feel like dizzy. So I think it's just getting used to things. You know, our dogs yeah. are a little off too and their sleeping patterns and when they're waking us up, we're going to bed. So, but the more the days go on, we're finding our new routine here and the, the apartment's just so nice just to have everything we need in one spot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> have you been able to get your nutrition back to it or are you kind of still all over the place with that? No, I had mega fit meals ready in here the day that I arrived. So I've got right back to routine, got right back to my macros, feeling so much better back on, on my structure and things like that. But it's also cool because there's outside grills 
everywhere here. Mm. So like last night we went up to the rooftop and we grilled a couple of steaks. So we did get some chicken last night because we just want to do like fresh chicken on the grill. So yep. it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool to kind of, you know, have some, some different foods and things, but still on plan. Yep. Um, so yeah, I'm, everything is almost back to normal. I think after this weekend, of course, I'll be like in my routine and then I'll be heading to you. <laughs> <and see laughs> <I gotta> <laughs> so. well, it's, it's funny that you mentioned the food thing because, you know, I think I mentioned this in the podcast that our Christmas gift to each other was a freezer <laughs> for meat. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, you know, I've, I've been getting mega fit meals for gosh, forever now. And so I stopped doing that so that we could do the meat, right? So we now we have meat auto delivered. Um, and Dan made what the company? first uh, something box. What is it? Um, I just we were looked looking at, it at some though. last night, and it was honestly not that expensive. It's not, like- and that's and it's like all organic and all this kind of stuff too. And that's one of the reasons why um, he wanted to do it that way. I'm trying to find what it is. Um, is it? I'll find it. Um, but it's similar to like a butcher box where you could pick like a couple yeah. of meats, a cup or beef, poultry, lamb. That's yep. what Drew and I were looking at. And it, and like, it was like only like 119 bucks. And we got like four steaks and a couple right. pounds of chicken. And I'm like, yes. that's good. I just that's spent exactly right. $50 on two pieces of steak yesterday at Whole Foods. So, yep. I can't, I don't know where the link is in here, but it's something like that. Yes. Okay. And, um, but the, cause we have a grill on the back and, and, and then now we have a freezer and all that kind of stuff. And I kept telling Dan, I was like, I'll do this. I was like, but you got a grill. I said that you're going to be grilling a lot. I'm like, I eat, I eat a lot of protein. <laughs> and so like every two days I'm like, I need more chicken. I need more chicken. And he's like, well, I can't do it today. I was like, Dan, I tried to warn you. <laughs> I was like, this is why I was doing mega fit. I was like, because it's there and I know that I can just pull it out anytime I need it. I'm like, I, I lo- actually really like when Dan grills. He does a really good job on the grill. But it's a matter of, I mean, I need a lot, need a lot of food. You know? <laughs> like, so it's like, I was like, like this morning, I was like, uh, I need more chicken. He's like, well, I can't grill today. I was like, oh, I tried to warn you. I was like, I, I eat a lot. <laughs> I was like, so he's already like, we, we got our first order of the, of the meats, you know what I mean? But he's already changing that order because he got a lot of like steaks and things like that, thinking that we can keep it in the freezer for a while, which we can if they're steaks. But I eat a lot of freaking chicken. <laughs> more chicken. Yeah, I need more. So we're gonna start putting some chicken in there and turkey and, and shrimp as well. I was like this, I was like, Dan, this is why I've been doing the mega fit. I said, because I can get a variety of proteins. I can get my chicken, but I can also get turkey and I can get shrimp and I can get salmon, I can get cod, I can get whatever I want for the, the two week period that, that I order that for. You know what I mean? So uh so he's starting to realize it was it's a lot more work. <laughs> thought it was gonna be as far as grilling I told him I was like I'll do this but you gotta grill it (laughs) (laughs) you know what's funny is I'm afraid of grilling too but I can grill chicken because it's just eight minutes eight minutes and then I think it's yeah I feel like I could do it and I and I could bake like I could bake it's not a big deal I could do that but he likes baking it's not the same it's not yeah it's not yeah he likes to grill it's just I I'm like you're gonna have to do this like every couple days if you're gonna do it in this kind of a quantity you gotta you you gotta do more like just is what it is like I eat a lot (laughs) yeah and the mega fit meals I mean they're on the expensive side but it's the best quality food I've eaten yeah the packaging and yeah. these are things you have to think about when things are a little bit more expensive. I mean, the packaging, it sat in our mail room for a day outside of the refrigerator because yep. it came when a day that there was no office staff here. When they finally found the box 24 hours later, it was still freezing cold, all the meals. Yep. yep. Like that matters, you know? Yeah. Like, when I was in, in Hawaii. Yep. When I was in Hawaii, I had it sent to me and they actually shipped it a day ahead of time in Hawaii. I got it on Thursday. I was supposed to get it on Friday. I wanted it on Friday because I was leaving to go to Hawaii on Sunday. You know what I mean? So it came in a day early. I was like, oh, well, I kept it in there. And it, it like, because of the dry ice that's in there, it was frozen all the way up until the time when I left to go to Hawaii or to Japan, it was still frozen. So I was like, I didn't even have to, I didn't even have to open the box. I just kept it all in there. It was fine. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it lasted steak, me the whole time. Chicken and then a couple of their like uh, custom meals. Everything yeah. has been so good. So, yep. so good. Yeah. So, so what I typically do with them is the is the bulk proteins, and then like depending on what I'm ordering, sometimes I'll order like the pancakes, like the protein pancakes. So I'll get a couple of those because I can throw those in my bag and I can take them with me, and then I've got a, a decent meal. Easy. You know? Yeah. 
So, so I haven't had them, but somebody said the, the peanut butter and jellies that they have are really good. Too. I haven't tried those. I, what was the last one? I tried, uh, I think it's like a, I think they call it like funky wonky or something. It's got banana. So that was Yum. good. Um, then uh, the cinnamon, cinnamon ones, the cinnamon ones are really good. There were other ones that I tried too that was like a strawberry chocolate or something. I wasn't a huge fan of that. It was a weird, it was a weird combo for me personally. Weird combination. But yeah, yeah. But the the cinnamon ones are always good. Um, I think they I think they have like a pumpkinish one or something like that for fall. I can't remember. Bird season. Yeah, it was stuff like that. So um, I'll try them as they as they come out with new stuff and things like that too. So I'm probably probably gonna have to make and make an order of Mega Fit just so that I, I have. I was gonna to. say I, th I think your allowance just got bumped up after Dan realized that he's not gonna be grilling every other day. <laughs> I know. I know. I was like. Trying to tell you, <laughs> like I'm trying to tell you, I eat a lot of freaking food, you know. Yeah. Plus, like I'm at that point now where my food is being increased. You know what I mean? So, so what? Last week, and last week I was on my period, so it was really bad. Like as far as my check-in for me, how I felt. Um, but you know, tomorrow I'll be checking again. Um, I've actually dropped two pounds since last week. So, a lot of it was just inflammation, you know. Um, so. I, I'll see what I look like and stuff like that tomorrow, but I'm feeling a lot better. Like I feel, you know how you just feel like you're puffy and gross. Like that's how I felt last week. This week I don't feel like that. This week I feel like Good. I'm normal again. You know, I, so I'm not, I'm not stage lean by any stretch of the imagination. I'm still pretty lean in comparison to a normal person, but I'm not lean for me, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. But I feel solid and I don't feel puffy. You know what I mean? Good. So Good. I'm in the right, right spot right now. I did get my blood work done. Um, <clears throat> Got the results for that yesterday, um, and then I have a call with them tomorrow to go over the results. And I went and I put them next to my results from last year coming out of prep, and they're almost identical. <laughs> so, so um, predictable. You're yeah, probably. they're um, they're almost identical. There's a couple of different things that are a little off, but I don't really know how to read them very much. So I don't want to talk about it yet until I talk to the medical people and, and find out exactly what it is. Um, just a few things that are high that shouldn't be high, that kind of thing. And a few things that are low that shouldn't be low. But like last year, you know, they're, they're, they're basic just for me last year when I kind of came out of prep was, um, you know, I could start testosterone replacement therapy if I wanted to, but if I would just get my stress under control and sleep, that things would probably level out. And that's basically what happened. <laughs> so I didn't go on anything last year, um, other than just normal nutraceuticals and things like that. Um, so I have a feeling it's going to be kind of the same pathway this this year as well. Uh, you know, that's that's the other thing when it comes to blood work. Like again, understanding it, I don't know enough about it to just say, okay, I need this, 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 this. So then also once you get a suggestion of what to do, I'm a believer of going to the most conservative route first and seeing if you can fix everything naturally versus just jumping right up to like, okay, let me start taking testosterone cream or whatever. You know what I mean? So yeah. I didn't do any of that. Um, I just went the natural route and it, it resolved itself. Cause again, when you're coming out of contest prep, people don't realize how stressful that is on your body. Yeah. Being in a contest your prep, blood work's going to look terrible when you're out of yeah. a contest prep. Yeah. It's stressful on your body. So you've got to give yeah. your body a chance to regulate on its own first. You got to remember that if you start, throwing everything at it, you're just going to screw it up even more. You know what I mean? Yeah. So um, again, I'm a believer of try to try to fix things first yourself naturally. And then if things still don't level out, then at that point, you know, you start looking at what you can do, you know, with HRT and things like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I, 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 I don't know for sure, but I feel like that's kind of the route they're going to probably tell me tomorrow, you know? Yeah. So yeah. just based on what I, just based on what my results looked like last year versus this year, they're, they're almost exactly the same. So, yeah. So your testosterone yeah. was the same then too from last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything's the same. Well, that's good. It didn't get any yeah. worse. No, yeah. it didn't get any worse at all. Like it's literally like yeah. within a point, within a point difference on each thing. So yeah. whether it's up or down, it's within a point on everything. So yeah. it looks exactly this, um, almost exactly the same. So, cool. um, and then I'm going to do my testing again this coming week, like we mentioned, because I was on my, because I was on my um, period. So oh, I'll be, yeah, you're going to go you know, back. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So I won't know full, I won't know full results till probably after the CCTS weekend. So I'm just not gonna have time to get on the phone with them and stuff like that this next week. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so uh, I wasn't, I wasn't surprised by anything I saw. So that's a good thing. Good. 
Yeah. Well, hopefully everything's okay. To be continued. You'll let us know what the doctor says. But yeah, you went yeah. you went through premiere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Their doctors did, are so. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, and it was it was super easy. Like I said, like I put up a little story. Like I went in and. <laughs> <laughs> she goes and she pulls up my sweatshirt just like this right she goes like this and pulls it up so that all you can see is my is my forearm so she can get to my vein and she goes she goes oh you work out <laughs> i was like yep i, I didn't have anything on that which yeah i didn't have anything on that would show my muscle or anything i was i don't sweatshirt like a baggy sweatshirt and she pulled it up she was she just saw the veins in my forearms and she was like oh you work out i was like yeah yep. <laughs> every time I go get my lab work done, I, I roll my sleeves up and they're like, oh, you have good veins. I'm like, oh, please don't do that when you're about to take my blood. Like, I know. I know. <laughs> I was like, well, yeah, I mean, it, I do. Yes. <laughs> I'll take my blood and I don't want to look at it. Thank you. That's exactly what I did. I was like, I was like, here you go. And I started talking with this. <laughs> I'm like, nope. And then I hate when they do this. Too. I'm like, oh, oh I no. know. I know. You don't have to Does do she- that. <laughs> She was actually good. She she just kept talking, and she was like, she just told me her whole life story, no matter about five minutes, and I didn't even realize she had taken the blood. So I was like, all right, cool, you know. They do that on purpose. Yeah. You could tell like when they're like trying to just keep your like as soon as you look away, they start talk start talking, and I'm like, yep. Ah. <laughs> mm-hmm. It works. It works. Yep. So it was good. You know, we'll see what happens when I take it again, um, what changes and stuff. I'm actually curious to see that because, you know, it's, I'm interested to see what levels change um, when I'm not on my period versus when I was, you know. So that'll be, that'll be interesting to see. So Yeah, how bad of a um, variance there was or is. Yep, yep. yep. And yep. You, got, you got yours done just a week or so ago, right? I Please. did. I just got all my results back. Everything's good. Everything's perfect. Yeah. So good. that's good. Yeah, I'm still feeling like my body's trying to produce a period, but nothing's happened yet. But mm-hmm. I'm definitely feeling changes and hormonal things. So we'll see. We'll see if we'll get it this off season. It'll be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, so let's move into our topic for today of uh, New Year's resolutions. So the first thing is, is do you set resolutions or no? I don't set like particular, I don't like to call them resolutions, I guess. I just call them goals. And we've talked about how I kind of separate them in my notes tab into like personal, professional, mm-hmm. business, coaching, and, and things like that. Um, I don't know. I like to set like, I will statements. So like very mm-hmm. like, I am or I will. And then just, you know, very tangible, um, specific goals per se. So I've already done that. That's in my notes tab on my phone. So like, for example, um, for coaching, you know, I want to get two pro, pro cards this year as a coach yeah. mm-hmm. on Team J. Um and then uh, five overall wins for you know, the NPC category, any category. Um, for my gym out in Tampa, I have specific sales goals and numbers and things like that. Not going to share. Those are personal, but definitely s- s- sales goals for first, second, third quarter, things like that. Um, and then just me as a leader within my staff and and, and with my, my employees and whatnot. Uh, personal, I definitely like to read books. So I like to set that um, standard for myself of, you know, a few personal books, a few personal development books throughout the year. Um, and then also taking personal development classes and courses or educational seminars. Um, that's more pro- uh, professional as well, though. Um, and then I also do goals as like a wife and for, you know, my family. So for someone who has kids, this could also be as like a mother, what you want to do for your kids this year. But for Drew and I, we, we set very specific individual goals and then we come together on this, every Sunday. This is our new thing since being out in Arizona. We're kind of working on this thing within our marriage where we sit down on Sunday mornings and we converse. You know, we just mm-hmm. talk about what's going on in our relationship this week. What's some goals that we want to work on this week? What are our long-term goals within our relationship? So that's within like our marriage platform. Mm-hmm. So I guess you could call those resolutions, but I call them goals and like yeah. I will statements. Yeah. I, I, I agree with the goals aspect. I'm not a, I'm not a huge resolutioner. Um, I never have been. And the reason why is because I feel like it almost makes it like a finite thing. Like if you don't do it, then you failed, you know, versus if you do goals that are like small baby step goals and then long-term goals are things that you work on consistently and constantly versus I feel what sets people up for failure a lot with New Year's resolutions is like, if I don't do this starting on, on New Year's day and then continuing it, I'm failing it. And, then I'm, yep. and I'm just done. And then I'm just done. Correct. And I'm not yep. going to do it. It is yep. what it is. You know, there's a statistic that I, and I can't remember the exact numbers, but by the time you get to February, it's over 80% of New Year's resolutions are out the window. 
by the time you get to February. So it's like that gives you, I don't, I don't like a finite thing. You know what I mean? Um, life itself is already finite enough. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, you yeah, might as well. True. Yeah. You might as well just say, okay, this is going to be my goal today. This is going to be my goal tomorrow. I'm going to keep moving forward and you just keep stepping forward. So um, one thing that I was actually curious, I was, I was surprised about when I went to the gym yesterday. So again, I typically go to the gym in the afternoon around one o'clock in the afternoon because that's, there's nobody there. <laughs> you know, I miss the lunch crowd and I don't hit the afternoon crowd. So there's nobody there. I can get my workout in and get, get done. So I plan my day around that spot for my break. And yesterday that didn't happen because obviously all the CCTS stuff is going crazy. So I got to the gym at 5 p.m. <laughs> I was like, 5 p.m. on That's January 2nd. <laughs> I'm like, Fucking phenomenal. I did a great yeah. job on timing today. So I walked in and I was I was already like, okay, this is gonna this is gonna be hard because it's gonna be a ton of people and I'm gonna have a hard time getting the machines, all this kind of stuff. So I uh, you know that I, I had that mindset already when I walked in. It really wasn't that bad. I was like, it was like a normal five o'clock crowd. Like it wasn't more. Um okay. And it wasn't less. It was like a normal five o'clock crowd, which is still quite a bit. But I was able to get to all the equipment that I needed to. I didn't have to wait for things, none of those kinds of things. So I was like, this is interesting. I was like, I just assumed it was going to be slam packed. I just assumed that it was going to be wall to wall and it was going to be hard to get around, all that kind of stuff. They had, you know, salespeople. This was, I went to Planet Fitness because Planet Fitness is right down the street from my house. And obviously at this time, I'm not, I don't have a lot of extra time to, to waste. Oh, so yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, and they had salespeople set up outside with, with a with a table and all that kind of stuff and ready to go. And there was nobody at the table. And it's just like, I mean, I don't know if it was just because it was the first day and people are still trying to get back to work and get, you know, settled and stuff like that. But I, I just assumed it was going to be slammed and it wasn't. So I'm kind of wondering if people are going the route of, like we talked about doing goals versus resolutions. You know what I mean? Um I don't, I just don't see as much. And again, I don't do the diet and training stuff. So you probably could weigh in on this a little bit better as a coach, but I don't see as much of an influx right as soon as the holidays get over with. And this has been for the last few years. I don't see as much of an influx right as the holidays are over with, but people wanting to go boom, falls to the wall. It's like a trickle, you know? Um, it is. You know, I don't know. Have you seen that? Have you noticed that? Have you, has it been different? Yeah, I mean, ever since I've been coaching for a couple of years, most people are like, January 1st, I want to hit this new goal, or I want to start a cutting phase, or I want to start this phase. And this year, it was I was reaching out to them saying yeah. like, hey, we're on timeline to you know change things and blah, blah, blah. So I, I do feel like I'm seeing that, that kind of switch. I'm wondering if people are turned off by the simple title of new year's resolution because just like you're saying if you set this goal or resolution for yourself january 1st and then four weeks in you're not hitting that and then you just kind of say oh well now i've already screwed it up so now i'm done with it versus just having that goal and not meeting the goal that day but getting back the next day and going i'm gonna try again yep but how easily just that mental mindset or the way you perceive that can make you your actionable steps work or not yeah Um, it is. It's very interesting. But no, I, I, I haven't heard a lot of people saying this is my New Year's resolution this year. Or, this is what I want to do. Nor have I have heard or seen a lot of like big sales within my gym. You know, I was expecting yeah. really big sales, you know, the first this the first week it being a brand new gym, people were looking mm-hmm. into it, things like that. But it, it really hasn't been that way. Yeah. So I don't know. It's, it is. It's interesting. Maybe the market's changing or I don't know. Yeah, or people are just saying, ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> I hope not. I know. I'm one, of those, I'm one of those people, like, I appreciate people coming into the gym on January 1st. Like, I get the gyms are busier and things like that. But listen, they're working on being healthy. Like, let people yeah. work on being healthy, you know? But mm-hmm. that's sad. Like, if people, less people now are, which we already knew was a, was it's happening. But if less people and less people and less people are exercising and dieting and Oh, we're just going to get more and more unhealthy. In this I our know. Country. Yeah, I know. So. I'm hoping. Well, I'm wondering. This is a whole other topic. <laughs> like the whole fat acceptance thing, right? Um, yeah. You know, I, I think there's 
people just go to one extreme or the other. It's like, you know, back in the 90s, it was the skinny waif, like Kate Moss look kind of model thing where you were starving yourself. And now it's all the way the other side of the spectrum where people are morbidly obese and you're supposed, that's supposed to be beautiful and stuff too, right? Like whatever happened to just being a normal human and like a healthy, normal human, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like there, there's, there, there's not one extreme or the other, you know? No, um, no. I, I don't know if maybe... I I don't know maybe it's just something where like you were saying it's not a new year's like I'm not going to I'm not going to make new year's be the thing but I'm just going to hopefully they're saying like I'm going to just be healthy all the time you know what I mean like I'm hoping that's the direction versus going one extreme or the other right where you know take it as a gym owner for example where you see the same number of sales of gym memberships in January as you do in May you know, where you see the same number of gym memberships sold in May that you see in September, you know, where it's just a constant thing versus a spike in January and then nobody. Right. You know? As um, a business owner, you would rather that. You would yeah. rather the slow consistent. kind of, yeah, consistent increase versus pipes, peaks and valleys. Yep. You know, consistency yep. in any business is key yep. for income ratio. Um, but it will be it'll be interesting to track my numbers this year and see how that goes, yeah. how the memberships go. Well, consistency even with your physique and everything too is 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 key. You know, when you think about it that way, like again, going back to the beginning of when I first started in the sport, it was like you would you would go into a contest prep, lose twenty pounds, come out, gain forty, then lose that forty. <laughs> come back and it was just like boom 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 like because you had to bulk to go through your in your off season and stuff now it's more of a okay let's just say stay even we're going to dip a little bit to go into contest prep and then we're going to go back up to even and we're just going to stay a little bit like this is where we're going to stay versus these big huge peaks and valleys right which yeah. consistency is better across the board so talking about new year's resolutions too consistency is better doing things that you can consistently do better you know, like you talked about the goals and stuff like that, you know, I have goals and things like that as well. You know, one thing that I thought it was cute that Dan said as far as our relationship goals is she's like, okay, whenever I leave the house, I'm going to say, I love you and give you a hug. Whenever I hang up the phone, I'm going to say, I love you and give you a hug. Whenever I sit, we go to night, I'm going to sit, go to bed at night and I'm gonna say, I love you and give you a hug. I was like, this is a lot. Are you going to remember to say I love you every time? <laughs> today at all that I loved him or yes. him. That's terrible, yeah. but that's yeah. how busy we get. Yeah, well, it was like, it was, you're so bad. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so I think it was like, it was January 1st and I went to leave to go to the gym or something like that. And I said goodbye and I waited to see what he was going to do. So I went to say goodbye. I, I, what was it? Where was I, going? I was going, I wasn't, because I didn't go to the gym on the first. I went and worked out in the backyard on the first. I didn't I go to the gym on the first either. I know. I worked out in my shed on, on January 1st. Um, I was okay. going somewhere. I don't remember where I was going. But anyway, I was like, I was about to leave and he didn't say anything. I was like, you already screwed up your New Year's resolution. I said, you didn't say goodbye and didn't give me a kiss and say, I love you. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> he was like, he was like, okay, okay. <laughs> Got it. Starting now. <laughs> And like this morning, does it count if I had to tell you to do your? I know, I know. So this morning, like we got up, we were having our coffee and stuff, and he's like, "Cause I went to bed first, and um, he was like, I gave you a kiss goodnight. He's like, you were asleep already, but I gave you a kiss and said I love you, and and you went like this and swatted me away. Do you remember doing that? No, I don't remember any of that. I was already asleep. I know, but those are the those are the little consistent things. You know what I mean? Those are the little consistent things that you can do versus like you know again setting these huge goals that you can't you can't stick to, right? So yeah. I don't know. If like it's, if it's that hard, right, to kiss yeah. your spouse and tell them you love them when you're with them twenty four seven, pretty much. Imagine how a New Year's resolution would feel about going to the gym. You know, you have to put, yeah. you have to put your outfit on. You have to drive yeah. to the gym. You're thinking about the entire time how you don't want to do the workout, and you get you know. It's, there's a lot more cause for screw up there. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Yeah, I was talking to one of my friends. I, was, I think it was Saturday or whatever it was. It was over the weekend. And I had a glass of wine the night before with a fire and stuff. And I woke up that morning and I had a horrible hangover. I had one glass of wine and I had a terrible hangover. And um, and I was like, I don't know what this is from. Like, it's just like, I'm like, I, I, 
I have no idea. And uh, she said the same thing that she did the same thing. She she had one glass of wine and woke up with a, ter a terrible hangover the next day. She's like, take it easy today. You know, don't don't push yourself too hard. I was like, I'm already at the gym. <laughs> I'm, already, I'm already training. I'm because like, I'm not. That's what you did. <laughs> I was like, I would feel worse if I didn't go to the gym. I was like, I just feel would feel worse if I didn't go train. So I'm like, I had some ibuprofen. I pounded some grapefruit juice and I went to the gym. I had a banana and I went to the gym. And I was like, and I didn't feel bad anymore. I feel fine. <laughs> I was like, because that's consistency, you know, consistency Absolutely. over time just works. Yep. So yep. I, I don't know. I, I don't want to, and I don't want to poo poo people that do New Year's resolutions either, because if they work for you, they work for you. But I just feel Absolutely. like it's, again, I feel like it's like the consistency over time. So if you are setting New Year's resolutions, make them something that's attainable that you don't feel like is huge. Like, again, we always go back to like the small goals versus the big ones. Like, Say you say you feel like you need to lose 50 pounds. Well, don't say I'm going to lose 50 pounds by February, you know, the end of February. No, say I'm going to I'm going to lose this 50 pounds, but I'm going to lose a pound every two weeks. You know, that's Absolutely. completely attainable. Yes. You know, and that keeps so, you consistently showing up. Right. Yep. And understanding, like, I hopefully, like, people come on here and, and when they listen to, like, when we do our reverse updates and our prop updates and stuff like that, everything doesn't go in a straight line. You know, it's up and down and up and down and up and down. You know, last week, I think I was up uh, three, four pounds, something like that from the week before because of my period. This week, I'm back down two. So, yeah. you know what I mean? It's a net gain of maybe one, you know? Yeah. So, the more that you are consistent about things, the more you see things go this way versus. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and but if you're coming up being in tune with your body is so important too, because yes. like, you know, you knew from being in tune with yourself, when you go up four pounds, something else is happening. That's right. Water, inflammation, period, things mm -hmm. like that. And then you don't freak out knowing that the yeah. next week, whatever balances out, it's going to come right back down. That's right. And I think that's a good um, point to make right now, too, because I think a lot of people probably over ate, over drank, all those kind of things through the holidays. And now we're into January and they look at the scale and they're like, oh, my God, what did I do? Most of that is inflammation. Most of that is water retention. Most of that is your body just saying, what the hell did you do to me? Let Give me a minute to, like, just level back out, you know? Don't go to an extreme. Stick to whatever your macros were. Stick to whatever your your um, training and your diet and your cardio and all that kind of stuff was. And over the course of the next couple of weeks, you'll see yourself even back out. Versus, I think, what a lot of people do right now coming out of the holidays, not so much as a New Year's resolution, sometimes a New Year's resolution, but they start doing cleanses. And they start doing fasting. And they start doing all this crap to try to get all the crap they just ate over the last month out of their system. It yeah. doesn't work like that. <laughs> No, nope. nope. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. You can cleanse all you want. All you're doing is pooping out whatever you had in your intestines. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it. It's not actual yeah. weight. It's not actual weight. It's just, it's just that. Yep. Yeah. You're just getting rid of the volume out of your stomach. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot yep. of girls check in this week, and they were asking for more cardio, and I was like, no, you don't need to do more cardio. Just get back on your meal plan. Get back that's on right. your normal macros. A lot of girls are having digestional issues this week because. You're, they're not used to eating the high fat foods and the higher volume of foods and the sugars. And they're like, what do I do? I'm like, just get back to normal. That's it. Yep. Just get back Absolutely. to your routine. You were fine a week Absolutely. ago. <laughs> yeah. So that's, it's always mm -hmm. the first week as a coach is talking all the girls yep. off the ledge. <laughs> so, yeah. And a lot of, and then also again, like you said, like being bottom. aware of what you're. Yeah. And being aware of your triggers you know, that was something I just realized last week. So we talked about prep stuff. Um, you know, one of the things I, I talked about with coming out of Japan is I noticed when I let go of my, my stomach a little bit um, through my transitions. And that's something that I wanted to want to work on. And then I was sitting there and I was thinking about it. And back when I was competing with another, with another coach years ago, um, I remembered I did two back to back shows. The first show I had a hard time with holding my stomach in and I retained water on my lower back because we did white rice the following week for the next peak week we did brown rice i didn't have that problem when i was in japan i used white rice as my carb up i was like oh, i wonder if that had something to do with it i was like because i i try to stick to like the low fodmap diet stuff so i don't have inflammation and all of that those of you that aren't familiar with that that's just stuff that makes you inflamed in your gut all those kind of yeah. things um and 
white rice is high glycemic, so it reacts fast. So little things like that. Um, asparagus doesn't, I don't do well with asparagus. I don't do well with like garlic or onion or things like that. Stuff like that makes me inflamed. So I try to stay away from all those, those kinds of things. So little things like that, you know, you start realizing what were your triggers. And I just, that just came in my brain while I was sitting there. I was like, I used white rice to carve up for Japan because that's all I had. I ran out of my, my cream of rice and I didn't, I ran out of my, my, um, rice cakes. So I, and I didn't want to eat a shit ton of rice cakes too, because it's a lot of volume to try to eat your carbs in. So yeah. I had to go get rice, like white rice. That's all I can get in Japan. You know what I mean? And I'm like, hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. I wonder if that had something to do with it because I didn't do that in Hawaii. I didn't do it in any of my other shows. I didn't do white rice. And I was like. Experiment in the off season. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See? And I don't eat white rice on a regular basis either because I don't like having that um I, I just don't I'm, i feel like wh- white rice isn't very isn't voluminous for the amount of carbs that you get so i don't i just don't do it very often <laughs> I, yeah. I like eating i like eating food um so I, was like, I just don't do it so i was like oh i was like i have to remember that for for next time not to do white yeah. rice i think that That's probably made a difference so again go to you know taking this back you know you go back to your trigger foods and stuff during the holidays i know for me a lot of dairy that i don't i don't do well with dairy at all you know Stuff like, you know, just simple things like whipped cream and like chocolate and stuff like that. I don't normally eat that stuff and that's dairy and it freaking screws your stomach up or, Absolutely. you know, just simple things like that. Um, alcohol. <laughs> yep. Lots of alcohol. <laughs> yeah. It's inflammatory. Yeah. Inflammatory. It's, it just is, you know, get rid of it and you're going to see your body automatically start to go, whoop, you know, so, and, and you do it over time too. Like, I know one of the hardest things with um, food adjustments is food is addictive. Sugar is addictive. Those things are addictive. So like you start putting that into your diet. And if you've done it for a month during the holidays, you're, you've now got that in, in you, like you, you want more of it, you know? So like one thing, one of the things I'll do is instead of doing like the ice cream and the pies and all that kind of stuff that you would do for your desserts, I'll go get like the, the low fat, you know, uh, um, cream cheese or whatever, or like the soy based whipped cream or something like that. So you're still getting kind of what you just had for all that crap during the holidays, but you're starting to pull all the junk out from it. And then slowly, but surely you can start removing those as well. You know, yeah. so that you're back to your full clean. Um, Cause again, extremes are not good. You go from one extreme to the other and you're going to, you know, you say, okay, I'm not eating this stuff anymore. And then you crave it really, really bad. So you go back and you binge, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So stuff like that. So, and like, like little things like that can help you wean yourself off. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Or you're just somebody like me, like I can't wean, I just got to go in and then I'm just right back out, you know, like, (laughs) yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm, I, I wean myself off. Like, again, like I, I've done that, like I've done the, um, uh, things I just said, like the, the soy whipped cream and like the, um, I have a low fat cottage or not cottage. I can't believe you want to say cottage cheese, it's cream cheese. Because I do a bagel every, every morning. So I do the low fat cream cheese on there. Um, and little things like that make me feel like I'm still getting the the stuff that I was getting during that time frame, but I'm, I don't get the same kind of effects from it. If that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I like this, I'm this just boring. I eat chicken, rice, blueberries, every meal. So <laughs> I try to have a little bit of fun. Um, not a lot, but a little. Still the nutrient yeah. dumps and all that kind of stuff. And like, you know, again, going back to like, instead of having the junk desserts, I'll go get Halo Top for ice cream. Yeah. Like, you know, and I'll, I'll tell you this too. I don't do that very often because Halo Top and stuff like that actually inflames me more because of like the the artificial sweeteners. All I've heard of, of that. Things. I've yeah, so I have the Ninja it, Creamy, which I love. Yeah, I've heard that. I just don't, I'm not... I don't like the the maintenance of the machine. <laughs> like I have to, meaning like every time I make something, I have to wash the whole fucking machine. <laughs> oh, I don't have to do that. I just rinse it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. oh, it's too much work. It's too much work. I just want to pull something out of the refrigerator and eat it. <laughs> Got it. Got it. That I can't help with. <laughs> I don't, I don't like to cook. I'm like, I, I, I've said this before. I don't like to cook. That's why the whole grilling thing with the chicken and all that stuff. I was like, Dan, if you do it, I'll, I'll go this route. But if you're not going to do it, I'm not going to do it. You know, I know myself, you know, that's why I was like, like, do you really know what you're getting yourself into? Because that's why I order it pre-made. 
Yep, that's why I ordered pre-made. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. All right, Sean's not cooking, not making any ice creams. Got it. Nope, no, because I just know myself. I'll do it like I'll. I thought about the Ninja Cream. I've looked at it every time that I go to Costco and all that kind of stuff. And I thought about it. And I just know myself. I'll I'll use it for a couple of weeks and then I won't use it anymore. No, that sucks. It's really good. <laughs> I know. I have very low maintenance for anyone watching it, but Sean, uh, I know, right? Finish. I have friends that use it every single day. They use it through their preps, all of that stuff. I, I know, I know, but I just know myself because I've done this enough times. Like, I have little like uh, waffle makers and stuff, and I used to. And to be fair, when I first buy them, I will use them for like a few weeks, and then I just never touch them again. And that's just well, how. Well, waffle I am. maker is a lot of maintenance. Now I understand what you mean about cleaning the entire. <laughs> you have to clean an entire waffle. Waffles, yeah, you know, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And it just gets yeah. everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, well, I make the little protein waffles. The, the, yeah. And I got my little, it's a, it's a mini one. So I got it at the uh, at, at Target, you know, and it's yep. just a little mini waffle maker. And I would do that every morning for my breakfast or whatever, or do a post workout too. Like I'll make pancakes post workout. But this is how low maintenance I like my food to be. <laughs> so I buy. I buy, um, like, King Line Nutrition has um, cookie dough and, um, like, pancake dough and all that kind of stuff. And they have the, it's all pre-made. So it's all like gluten-free and all this kind of stuff, right? It's good for you. And then and you just add your, add your milk or whatever. And you make your cookies. I literally take the mix and I put it in my, my yogurt and I just eat it like that. <laughs> and it's yummy. <laughs> it's great. Post-workout, it's fantastic because you can get Yum. like, you know, you get like chocolate chip cookie dough and it's, it's all like, it's not, it's not bad for you stuff. And you, and you don't, there's nothing raw in there. It's all just a mix. So I just, I, I put it into my, my yogurt and I eat it with my yogurt. Interesting. <laughs> versus, cook, versus cooking it. That's interesting. Oh, I see everybody's, everybody's food thing. I, I, I don't branch out at all. I know. I, like, I see people do their food on Instagram all the time, like what they're making and all that stuff. Like Eureka does that a lot. She shows all her little her little stuff and like um, Natalie Matthews with her Fit Vegan and all that kind of yes. stuff. I, I think it's fantastic, but I just do not have the patience to do that myself. I just don't. Yeah, that's like, like, I get that. I get that. Especially Natalie's stuff. I mean, she's the I best cook. I just, I can't, I don't have that time. <laughs> no, I don't have the time. Yeah. If I had the, the time, and the energy I would do it but I just I just don't I'm like I have to eat so much I'm like no I'd be cooking all the time I can't do that I can't do that nope Mm -mm. it's just very echoey in here okay (laughs) I mean it has to be close okay yes okay no problem we got trouble Oh, it's probably kids screaming right here, but nobody's yelling at that. <laughs> right? I know. <clears throat> Double standards. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, but yeah, so I just I don't know. I'm 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 that person. Like if I can just grab it from the grocery store and go, I'll grab it from the grocery store and go. You know, I'm that I'm that yeah. person. I don't. I just don't. I just don't take. I just don't take that. Convenience. Yeah. Convenience. Convenience is a big thing for me. Because the the thing is, is like when it comes to food, I, I'm just like, a, it's a, it's a food is function. You know, it's not as much as I like food and I like to eat. It's not something that I focus on as much as I focus on everything else. You know what I mean? Yeah. I focus on everything else. I have to get done like all the crap for CCTS. I got to get done. <laughs> yeah. That's, it's, it's good to have that kind of busyness in a reverse though, because it does put your attention on something else other than food. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Like I was sitting there last night and I'm like, okay, another thing that I I do like to have is popcorn. So I had popcorn after my workout last night and I'm like, it's taking me too long to eat this popcorn. (laughs) As much as I love the snack and I love popcorn, it's like, this is taking too long. I I need to go do stuff. I don't even have time to eat right now. That's when I just texted you last week and you asked me if I'd watch something. And I was like, I don't even have time to pee right now. I've not looked at my phone. I can't yeah. even remember the last time I've done an Instagram post. Like, yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. It's terrible. And it but takes, it takes a while. People don't realize keeping up, just keeping up with social media takes for freaking ever, man. I know. I literally <sighs> popped down on the couch next to Drew like two nights ago. I'm like, okay, I have to make a post. I just like started looking at my phone for two minutes and I'm like, this is too much work. And I just put my phone down. It, it does. It takes so much time. People don't realize that. 
And let alone if you want people to engage with stuff too, like you have to make the reels and you have to put the, the music to it. You have to have the trending audio. We talked about all this kind of stuff last week too, with the business stuff. Like it's just, it's, it, it's, it's a full-time job doing the social media aspect of it. And you have to do it in order to get visibility. Yeah. You have to. Yep. <laughs> Hence yeah. why we are putting this on Spotify now. <laughs> exactly. Don't forget. You know? Don't forget. Oh, goodness gracious. So, so to go back to the, the resolutions and stuff, um, I, you know, when it comes to implementing, if you're going to do New Year's resolutions, my best advice is, like I said, to make them attainable goals that you can work towards every day. And don't make it a finite thing either, where if you get to the end of January and you haven't hit that goal, you feel like you failed, you know, instead make it something that you can progress towards over the course of this next year, you know, and you can see where you are next year and say, hey, did I hit that goal next next year versus I have to hit this by February 1st, you know what I mean? So that you don't feel like you're that pressured. I, I'm a big believer and having those big, huge, scary goals, I've talked about that before, but you have to have those incremental consistency goals. Consistency wins over everything. So if you're looking like maybe you're a brand new competitor, you want to get on stage this year, I would even say, don't say you have to get on stage by April. You know what I mean? Because if you are saying you have to get on stage by April, that means you're going into prep right now right? Yeah. So give yourself time to learn your body. I see this a lot in Facebook groups I'm on right now is that people have started with a coach maybe a month or two ago and they're not seeing results like they thought they were going to see. So they feel like they need to change coaches now and they need to do this and you change that. And the other thing, two months is not long enough to figure out your body. Nope. Nope. You got to give your coach a chance to figure out what's going to work for you. And that usually takes six, time. eight, months at least. Yeah. You know? Yep. Absolutely. And it's okay to adjust your goals and your timelines and things like that. Like, you know, my initial goal right now, when I talk to Jamie, as far as competing is end of June again, but like at the more that I'm sitting here thinking about it, I'm like, in order for me to make significant changes and, and improvements, I'm going to have to push that goal back. You know what I mean? So yeah. one of the things that helped me with actually thinking about that is when the pro list came out, I realized how many masters pro shows there are this year, and there's a ton in the fall. And I'm like, okay. why am I, gonna, you know, why am I going to push myself now to try and hit a, a hit a, a stage when I could give myself a couple extra months and be better? You know what and I mean? More opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You're you know, no like there's, there's no sense. Like I, I've really been thinking about that this week. I was like, there's no sense in trying to rush this because. You know, A, I think I could look good getting on stage right now. Like, I have no problem with that as far as the, the master's is concerned. But as I've always said, when I get on stage, I want to get on stage looking better. I don't want to just yeah. do it and look the same, you know. So <clears throat> if I need a few extra months, there's nothing wrong with taking a few extra months, you know. Absolutely not. If, Absolutely if you're not. coming into this year and you've been with a coach for a couple of months, give yourself a few more months before you start making any kind of changes. You know, just try to figure out what your what your body's doing first. And communicate with your coach and all those kinds of things. Stuff that we're going to talk about, talk about at CCTS with you guys with the body fusion and your, your topic and everything too, the expectations and all of that. Yeah, I think people have a very uh, big underestimation of how long it takes to build muscle. You know, yeah. and especially when you're starting with a new coach on a brand new plan, you don't just start growing muscle from day one. Mm -hmm. It does give you some or takes you some time to figure out the new plan, figure out you and your coach's relationship and kind of how that works. And then, you know, after the first couple of weeks, you know, in the new, with the new plan, the new gym workouts and things like that, then you become a little bit more progressive overloading and better with the movement patterns. That's where you're really starting to change and grow. And it takes time to build yes. muscle. If you're going to expect after four weeks to look toned and ripped and, or just any kind of, you know, growth in general, you're probably not going to see much. And that's why it's mm -hmm. really important to look at different things other than just scale weight, other mm -hmm. than just photos, take measurements. You know, yep. it's, it's, that's why it's important to have different types of data with your blood work when you're checking in blood work. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Because if, if you're not growing, but your blood work is showing that you're lower on testosterone or that you have a high cortisol or something like that, 
well, now you have a stress-induced way of not building muscle. Or if you have low testosterone or low estrogen, you're not going to build lean muscle, no matter if you're hitting your diet and exercise plan 100%. So it is, it's really important to make sure all things are going how they should, and you're getting yeah. plenty of time. You know, mm -hmm. if you are concerned about your plan or that you're not growing, ask your coach. Hey, we're six weeks in. What should I be seeing at this point? What yeah. are your expectations of me? Should I have seen some, some some lean muscle now? And if the coach says, uh, "Yeah, and you're actually not growing. This is a problem. Let's talk about it." Or, "Hey, we're still too early. We still need to see shoulders in another four weeks or whatever." A coach should be able to kind of gauge that with you after at least four weeks of you guys working on plan and getting a little bit more of a grasp and then being able to kind of tell you what their expectations are as they're making changes to the plan and you're checking in with them. Yep. Yep. And I will say too, like when I first started um, my caloric intake, I thought was 1900 calories. Like this is when I first started with Jamie three, three years ago, over three years ago now I thought, but I wasn't accurately tracking. So we started there and I was putting on body fat really rapidly and realized that I was actually only at, supposed to be taking in about 1700 calories at that point, based on where my metabolism was. We figured that out over the first couple of months of working together. It's like, I wasn't yeah. where I thought I was, you know? Right. Uh, yeah. And it wasn't until we started okay. collecting all the data. Yeah. It wasn't until we started yeah. collecting all the data that we realized that, you know, and yeah. it's like, Oh, okay. So we got to back it down a little bit and work it back up. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. You just got to figure it out. So uh, another one too, I just saw this post, I think yesterday, um, Devin, who's going to be speaking at cuties. Um, she, sp she spoke for the last couple of years, Wellness Pro, Olympia, and all of that. And she's had issues. She's spoken about this where she'll go from prep to off-season and, and just gain, 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 and then go to prep again. And then her body just goes, whoo, 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 like we were talking about. And I made uh, I noticed that she made a post, again, I think it was yesterday, where she's going to be working with a new coach that's helping her to get a lifestyle balance for her physique. Mm -hmm. She's still training with her current coach for prep. But in the interim, she's working with somebody else who's going to help her find a happy medium, a consistency spot so that she's healthy when she's not in prep, you know? I love that. So you know, between, you know, and again, it's not like she's changing coaches. She's just working with somebody that's going to help her with her need right there. You know what I yeah. mean? So that's, that's, that's actually really cool. I think that's awesome. That is like, awesome. That is you know, really and, cool. And understanding, understanding where your weakness is too and trying to assess that, make it better. And again, going back to, that's awesome that her current coach too is like, yeah, go work with this person and figure this out first and then come back to me and we'll put you back through, you know, prep again. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Or however they're working. I don't know. I don't know how they planned, but she specifically said that she's, she's still working with her prep coach. She's just implementing um, the help for this other person during her life management season, you know? Oh, so, I love that. I'm going to go look for that post. That's awesome. Yeah. It's really yeah. cool. Cause I get that. It's hard. Like that's how I was when I first started. It's like you, you, you're either all in or you're all out. And that's basically where she, she's been and she doesn't want to do that anymore. You know? So, yeah. 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 But, um, but yeah, so there's, there's lots of ways to skin a cat and a lot of it comes down to being honest with yourself too and understanding where you are and understanding what you want to achieve and, and knowing if you are on the right path or if you're not and being willing to, willing to pivot, you know, if, if something's not working. So again, be okay with pivoting and changing, but not completely like, okay, we're done. We're not doing this anymore. Yeah. Keep showing up <laughs> for yourself. Keep showing up. You know, yeah. you're human. You're going to make mistakes. You're not going to be perfect every day. The, yep. um, the success is found in just showing up again the next mm -hmm. day, you know? So yep. Yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't have to be a resolution. It doesn't have to be a goal. Maybe you just wake up that morning and you set a goal or intention for that day based on mm -hmm. what you're feeling or what you're wanting to accomplish that day. You know, yep. start small. Always start small. Absolutely. Um, and with that, you know, when you're having issues with attaining your goals, make sure you go to the people that can help you too, you know, and yeah. communicate and say, listen, I can't, I can't do this. Can you help me out? You know, absolutely. Um, or like, like for me, I go to Dan and tell him, you forgot to tell me I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Call him out, write that in there. <laughs> That's so funny. You gotta have an accountability partner, right? That's it. That's it. As a wife, that's uh, our number one job. 
that's right. That's right. But again, it's communication. And, you know, when we come back to the relationships and stuff like that, there's certain things that, that like you were talking about, you and Drew sit down and talk together. And there's certain things that Dan and I sit down and talk about together because I see, see things a certain way and Dan sees things a certain way. So it's about coming, coming together and figuring out where the disconnect is there so that you can both move forward. And it's the same thing when we're talking about goals and stuff like that. It's coming together, say, well, I saw it from this perspective. They see it from this perspective. Let's bring those together and then make it, you know, move forward, you know? Yeah, absolutely. That's about with any partnership or communication, yeah. you know? Right, exactly. Yep, your coach, your partner, your friends, your coworkers, your boss, all of the things. All the things in life. Just talk, talk exactly. about it, figure it out. Like what we yes. do on this, on this podcast every week. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so um, let's get ready to, to wrap this up today. But what do you got going on for this weekend other than just getting, getting more settled in? Oh, I am working all weekend. Yeah. So all the clients. clients and all of my girls are starting prep. So it will be a week of just working, which is fine. I need to get caught up and then hopefully by the time I go to CCTS, I'll be a little bit, a little bit more yeah. relaxed. <laughs> and if not, you can go hang out at the spa. You can go hang out at the pool. You know, it's an, in, it's an indoor pool. So you can hang out at the pool. Even, I mean, yeah. even with that, it hasn't, and cross your fingers, it has not been cold here, you know, so knock on some wood. We've, you know, all during Christmas and New Year's, we were outside at the, at our little fire pit and stuff. So for winter, it's not been cold. Um, Interesting. We only had, we've had two years where it snowed um ccts weekend the very first year it snowed on sunday night so the very first year we didn't do a banquet because it was you know so we just threw it together sunday night when i was packing everything up to go home i got stuck in the snow trying to get home but um everybody else already left uh three years ago i think it was three years ago we had a snowstorm um that sunday night so a lot of people just stayed through monday they're like yeah we'll just stay it's a holiday weekend so you can stay through monday so some people yeah. just stayed some people still left because by Monday morning it was it it was warm enough that most of it had, had dissipated and it was fine. But some people just decided to stay. Um, I think we had snow. There was a year that actually Sandy came. I think we had snow that weekend, but again, it was like after everything was over, so it didn't really affect anybody. So we haven't again knocked on some wood. <laughs> we haven't had any issues with snow or anything like that here. It gets cold enough for it to stick. Like we may have one big snowstorm a year that's usually in like in like february march or something like that but it doesn't stick around for very long so hmm, should be good it was really <laughs> cold last year it didn't snow but it was really it cold. Snow. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah 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 um so it does, it does get cold um but yeah it doesn't i'm like i don't even know i probably could check the weather but it's not it's not supposed to be it's not supposed to be bad i don't think let me see let me see like right now it's not bad um there's a yeah, this weekend is supposed to be decent. Next weekend, yeah, it gets up to the 50s. Yeah, so it's not bad. It's we're not okay, gonna have any. That's good. Not gonna have the 10-day forecast is out till Friday next week, and there's there's nothing like Tuesday. It's supposed to. There's, there's, no Tuesday. There's a there's a 60% chance of snow on or rain on Tuesday, and then nothing. It's all it's all sunny till Friday. Oh, so good. It'll be a great weekend then. Good weather too. Yeah. Yep. So awesome. it'll be fun times. Fun times. So. Um, I, I will, uh, attempt, attempt to get on one of these with you next week. Okay. <laughs> I don't like missing weeks. Right. So I'll figure something out. Maybe, um, I'll probably know better as far as, um, when I can jump on, uh, after I figure out when all these vendors are sending me all their stuff. <laughs> I could do one. I could do like a and a Drew can help me or something like that. We'll figure it out if you're busy yeah. or it's helpful to me the week I was crazy. So right. Was That's yeah. true. We could do that. We could just have to do a QA and a or something and record it yeah. and put it up. Yeah, we could do that for sure. We don't, okay. we won't we'll miss take it, we'll take it one day at a time, right? Yeah. One, 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 one day at a time, but we won't miss a week. We won't miss a week. We'll figure it out one way or another. <laughs> so, yeah. you heard it here. So, make sure that you give us your, your, your questions. Put them in the comment box. Um, uh, below so that that way we can make sure that we get something out to you and answer your questions. Maybe you guys are struggling with your New Year's resolutions and you want some solutions on how to fix, you know, these goals and problems that you're having. So uh, feel free to ask the questions. Um, what else? Anything else that I'm missing? I feel like I'm, I should have said something else, but I, I think that's it. We're on episode 19. We're going to move over to Spotify too. That. 
Yeah, subscribe. so we're on Spotify. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe, you like, you comment, share all of the fun things to get this the algorithm moving. Um, and then next week's going to be a whirlwind of a week, but we'll get a we'll get a podcast out to you one way or another. Um, Absolutely. And then of course we'll do like a wrap up of everything too the following week for sure. So perfect. Um, perfect. Yeah, with that, that's it. We'll see. We'll see you here back back here next week for behind the bikini in one form, fashion, or another. <laughs> One person, two people, three. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We always make a way. We always find a way, one way or another. So, all right. Well, enjoy the rest of your day, you guys. And we'll see you back here next week.